Welcome back to Sapper Steel Forge, guys. I, I know we, we said we were going to do some new videos. Uh, a lot of new content is going to come out. One did to really focus on the day-to-day -day stuff we're doing. And so I've got a new product that's going to come out on the Etsy shop, and it's going to be really cool. It's going to be a candle holder, a heart-shaped candle holder. And so what we're doing right now is I've, I've made the base. It's just a little piece of white oak here. You can see that it's... Uh, We've uh, stained it, we bowled it out a little bit, and uh, we drilled a hole. So now I'm going to forge out the, uh, the candle holder piece that's going to sit in here and just hold up the nice candles. Alright, so what we're going to do is just get a nice even bend and we're going to come over here to the jig and start bending the heart. Now, it's going to take a couple of heaps to get the heart right, but that's okay. What we're going to do is bring this over to the jig Grab the hammer and just use the thumbs to bend that right on around and drop it. Hey, why not, right? Then bring that right on in there. Grab our hammer. Now the last thing we need to do, pull this off and get one more heat to really shake that thing right. So we got it nice and hot now. We're just going to use this. Yep. Sometimes. All right, we'll put it back in the porch for it. After a good bit of struggle, got the heart we were looking for. So now I'm just going to bend the stem a little bit so that it fits in the wood real well, and then uh, we'll be good. All right, so now we're just going to take our bended tongues, kind of give it a little bend here, bring it over there. That should be roughly about what we're looking like. We're going to measure it up against the uh, the wood, make sure it looks right, but I think we're about good. Alright, so we're just kind of giving it a poke here, see if that looks about like we need to flatten out the, the heart just a little bit and bend it, and it's going to be perfect. Alright, here we go, and so we're just going to bend that just a touch. I think that's gonna have us sit pretty well flat. Here we go. And see that'll sit flat right above the, the piece of wood, which we put on the polyurethane to keep it protected from the wax. Not like wax would protect wood, but that means this piece is good to go. 
So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to heat it one more time. We're going to make sure to tap this thing flat on the anvil, then into the oil to protect it, and this thing will be done. Last little thing here. We're just going to make sure the heart itself is sitting flat to hold the, the candle real well. Now here we go into the oil. Now this isn't a proper quench. So we're not looking for a big fireball or anything like that. It ain't got to be glowing. All we're doing is make sure this hot metal gets some protection from the oil. So we just dip it right on in there and let it cool down. Drip dry and then we'll go over to the water. It can be cooled off in the bucket. See, we got all that uh, crust off there. Got a nice forge gray patina. This thing's good to go. So what we're doing is just getting it a little bit flatter. Didn't have it quite nailed down. It's all right, with mild steel, we can uh, make adjustments after the fact. Now lucky for me, that should be nice and flat now. All right, so we tapped it flat got the little piece of wood here now let's do the final fit up here and that looks right that should allow for a little flat candle to sit right on top there so the last thing we're going to do is put some epoxy to hold the the candle holder in place and then we'll uh, polyurethane the wood and this thing was going to be ready to go out a little much but it is not going to take a lot because we just got a little bit of hole so we're just going to mix up some of this here resin and just right on down into that hole. And then like I said, that is probably a bit too much. Figure out what I did with the heart. There it is. A little extra ain't never hurt nothing. We'll just tear off a piece of this cardboard to wipe up the extra. Or, heck, I guess we could just use it to seal it up, couldn't we? That actually may look better. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting a little crazy today. We're going to try something a little bit new in the process. And we're just going to use this excess resin on the top of it. And see how that works. Alright, so now we got about five minutes to wait on that to, to cure up. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and all that stuff that YouTubers say. Visit us at the shop at Etsy. This is going to be on the shop from now on. You'll be able to, to purchase them. I haven't set a price yet, but we'll uh, work it out. And uh, I'm going to be introducing some new shapes. So we're going to have some new candle holders and some more new products in the, the works. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.